outside. It's partly cloudy. Sun's coming in and out a little bit, but pretty chilly outside. Good morning, it's Barbara. My face seems a little in the shadow, but I've got the light on in front of me. Oh, come on. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Oh, I'm Barbara. Did I say that? Oh. I'm finding it hard to get out of bed. I guess that's a sign of the times, right? Although I'm not nearly as late as I have been lately. But I just don't feel like getting out of bed. Anyway. Yesterday was uneventful. I crafted. I knit and I worked on my drink shelf with Christy. I got all the glasses for March outlined, but I didn't put any colors in. But I got all the way to the end of the month. So you can see my glasses are ready to be filled. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need an April shelf before next Sunday. Maybe I'll do some stitching this week, who knows. I also worked on my sweater, which is coming along very nicely. There are two, oops, two rectangular panels. <laughs> I put my my ten inch my ten inch uh, de decrease happened. Let's see, my ten inch decrease happened there, so I'm at twelve inches. I need to go to 15, sixteen or seventeen before I start doing anything else fancy. <coughs> well, when I told Carol that I would test knit her magic socks, and I finally went on my email and got the pattern thank you carol so now i gotta find some yarn for it she didn't put a picture i didn't see a picture i just put, printed it out but it's not in the front so it'll be like a mystery knit along but that means i don't really have any good idea clues about what kind of sock yarn i should be using for the magic socks magic socks sounds like something I should have sparkly something sparkly don't you think <laughs> I just used my sparkly on my uh, sweet little nothing we shall see I go rummage around I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna be on time since I'm starting late sorry Carol well she wasn't counting on me for any particular thing. She was just a nice lady in semi pattern. <laughs> I hope she knows that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let the secret out. But we, we walked the dogs yesterday. It was not a nice walk. It was one of our most uncomfortable walks of the year and we've just been through winter but it was in the high 30s but it was very very windy and very damp so it was just biting wind it was not pleasant we probably were underdressed i mean i had my backbone on which has a high collar i had my small um handkerchief cowl on over that. I had gloves, I had my hat, I had my hood up of my coat. I mean, I wasn't underdressed, except I wasn't comfortable, so apparently I was. I guess that's the measurement of whether you're underdressed or not. Are you comfortable? If you're not comfortable, then you're underdressed. So I guess I was. 
I should have worn my Nanook coat. We both have what we call our Nanook coats. <laughs> From the movie Nanook of the North about the Eskimo. And they're really long coats. So they cover up more, more of our legs and they have, you know, padded, insulated hoods and things like that. We wear them a few times a year. Excuse me, on our walks. Hey there. Did you want to cuddle? Girl has a gurgly tummy. You woke me up with your gurgly tummy today, you goofball. Mm -hmm. so I don't know what that's about. We shall see. So anyway, that's all I did. <coughs> oh, and I discovered there's a season of Shetland on BritBox that I haven't seen. I'm so excited. I started, I just started the first episode. I mean, I watched the first episode. They're like five or six in the season. So that was an exciting find. But I found that after I was done crafting with Christy. And so I only got watched one and I didn't watch it to the, you know, right up to bedtime because I mean not that they're action packed or you know violent or anything well the first episode ended quite violently actually now that I say that but uh, so that was fun I was trying to figure out if I had seen season 5 I'm pretty sure I did I should just go and start watching one of the episodes and see if I recognize, because I have an idea about season five. Um, but I think season five was on Netflix. <clears throat> so, so I watched it, but I went on Netflix and it's not on Netflix anymore. So maybe they're waiting for season six to come. But that was exciting. Anyway, um, yeah, my plans for today are, I think I'll do some straightening up in here. It's getting really bad. You can see my, you know, it's getting really bad. Maybe I'll take a stab at taking some of the decorations down. Who knows? Depends on how energetic I am. I slept okay, so maybe I should do maybe I should do a little something around the house, you know. But um, yeah, and <clears throat> pick a pick a yarn, take a guess. Well, I'll read the pattern. I send it to the printer. I'll read the pattern of the magic socks and see what Carol has me doing, and that that should give me a clue on whether I need to use a solid yarn or a variegated yarn or a, you know and yeah have a clue about that and I'll go pick that yarn and uh, continue to work on my sweater because I'm really enjoying that. That's definitely TV knitting. Although every once in a while I don't realize I'm off and I have to unpick a half a row. But that's okay. I'm be knitting anyway, it won't matter. And uh, I don't know. I don't think we have anything planned for today. Dennis made goulash last night. It was delicious. He was very worried because he put smoked paprika in instead of regular paprika by mistake. And uh, he thought he'd ruined it, but he hadn't. It was delicious, so that was good. So that's probably what we'll have for dinner tonight. Anyway, oh, I'm rambling now, so yeah. No big plans. Tomorrow is rehab for Aura, so I will be taking her to rehab. Get out of the house. And, uh, yeah. No, nothing much on the horizon. Nothing much on the horizon. 
I hope you're feeling better. I hope people who are sick are feeling better. Hope those of you who are well are staying well. Please be careful. Please, please, please stay safe and stay safe. Thank you.